algebra using letters to represent numbers. What is algebra? Algebra is a branch of mathematics dealing with symbols and the rules for manipulating those symbols. For example, 4 plus 6 equals to 10. 2 times 3 plus 8. Four of them are numeric expressions. While algebraic expressions include at least one variable and at least one operation, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For example, 2 times 3 plus A. Mary is 5 years old. How old will she be 4 years from now? So 5 plus 4 equals to 9 years old. What is 7 less than 11? So 11 minus 7 equals to 3. Each box has 6 widths. How many sweets are there in 3 boxes? So 3 times 6 equals to 18 sweets. Jane has 8 fish squids. She distributes them equally among her 4 children. How many fish squids does each child receive? So 8 divided by 4 equals to 2. Using letters to represent numbers. Charissa is 11 years old. How old will she be in 4 years time? So 11 plus 4 equals to 15 years old. Charissa is 11 years old. How old will she be in 9 years time? So 11 plus 9 equals to 20. Jane is x your sort what does it mean by x letter x tell us that we don't know exactly how old is chain x is an unknown and take any value so if the question is how old will she be in two years time so the answer would be x plus two don't forget to put the bracket and write its units, x plus 2 years old. x plus 2 is an example of algebraic expressions in terms of x. Remember, an algebraic expression is an expression with at least one unknown number. Jane is x years old. How old will she be in 5 years time? So the answer would be x plus 5. Don't forget to put the bracket and write its units. x plus 5 years old. Brenda has 3 sweets. She gets one more sweet. How many sweets does she have now? So 3 plus 1 equals to 4 sweets. Brenda has 3 sweets. She gets 4 more sweets. How many sweets does she have now? So 3 plus 4 equals to 7. Brenda has three sweets. Her friend gives her some sweets. How many sweets does she have now? So as you may see here, her friend gives her some sweets. Her friend gave her an unknown number of sweets. We can use any letter to represent the unknown number. Let's say we use letter A. A sweets. Don't forget, when you write letter A, you must write it using a lowercase letter. A can represent any number. So, 
How many sweets does she have now? So the answer would be 3 plus a sweet. Don't forget to put a bracket and write its unit. 3 plus a is an example of an algebraic expression in terms of a. Add x to 6. So x plus 6. Or you can write the answer as 6 plus x. Add to 2y. So the answer would be y plus 2 or 2 plus y. Subtract 9 from k. So the answer would be k minus 9. Find the value of x plus 5 when x equals to 9. So in this question, you must replace x with 9. So 9 plus 5 equals to 14. Now let's move on to the addition. There is a commutative property of addition. 2 plus 5 is as the same as 5 plus 2. So the answer equals to 7. Add 5 to x. So the answer would be 5 plus x or x plus 5. Find the sum of n and 3. So the answer would be n plus 3 or 3 plus n. 4 more than y. So the answer is y plus 4 or 4 plus y. Subtraction. Subtract 3 from A. If you give the answer as 3 minus A, this is incorrect. The correct answer is A minus 3. Remember, that subtraction is non-commutative using numerical expressions. So, 3 minus a is not the same as a minus 3. Next, 1 less than x. So, the answer is x minus 1. Subtract 6y from 5. So, the answer is 5 minus 6y. Now about multiplication. Alex has n boxes. He puts two pens in each box. How many pens are there all together? So means he has n boxes and he puts two pens in each box. So how many pens are there all together? n times 2 equals to 2n n times 2 is n groups of 2 it means n plus n how many n's are there? there are 2 n's n times 2 equals to 2n. 
write it as 2n instead of n2. The fixed numerical value comes before the unknown value. 3 times n equals to 3n. b times 2 equals to 2b. 1 times m equals to 1m. It means m. k times 1 equals to k. 1 times y equals to y. Three times n equals to three n b times two equals to two b one times m equals to m k times one equals to k one times y equals to y five times b equals to five b commutative property of multiplication multiply h by 6. So you may write the answer as h times 6 equals to 6h or 6 times h equals to 6h. Find the product of 6 and a. So the answer is 6 times a. equals to 6a or you can write it also as a times 6 equals to 6a 6 groups of k equals to 6k 4 times as many as h so the answer is 4h Division. Divide n by 9. In algebra, 9 divided, sorry, n divided by 9 is written as a fraction. So n divided by 9 equals to n out of 9. Divide 15w by 3. So 15w divided by 3 equals to 15w out of 3 equals to 5w. Subtract 11 from the product of w and 6. So you have to find out the product of W and 6 first. W times 6 equals to 6W. So subtract 11 from 6W. So the answer is 6W minus 11. Add 8 to the product of 4 and A. The product of 4 and A is 4 times A equals to 4A. Add a to 4a. So the answer is 4a plus 8. Or you can write it as 8 plus 4a. Divide the sum of 10 and s by 7. So you have to find out the sum of 10 and s first. So 10 plus s. Then you divide the answer by 7. Don't forget, in algebra, 10 plus s divided by 7. Division is written as a fraction. So the answer would be 10 plus s out of 7. Thanks for watching the video.